This is the Navian hot water heater. I'll zoom in. You can see the brand. T Creator Navian. And it says down here for rating, plate, safety information, see reverse side. This is the install. It's in the corner of the basement. I'll just pan out a little so you can see where it is. It's right next to the old boiler. All right, the gas line comes over to put this electrical jack. The gas line comes down here, and I'll, I'll show you that in a minute. It goes there into the Navian. We have a condensate tube going into a pump, which will expel the water through this tube out the back, outside. There's Schedule 40 PVC. The left is the air intake. The right is the exhaust. And then behind us is the uh, gas line. It is three-quarter inch uh, corrugated uh, stainless steel tube. It goes across the basement over. Here's the oil tank and to this little... Um, manifold we put in and then this is a half inch line going out under the deck into the uh, gas tank. Uh, we do have one more connection on the manifold here for future growth. So that's the install. Now the back to the water heater it is a tankless Navian. It is a uh, 175,000 BTUs. It can handle two uh, showers concurrently. Uh, it is 98% efficient, and uh, hopefully it will save us some money on oil because that old dinosaur will only run for a couple months out of the year, January, February, once this thing's activated. We just have to run the water lines. See the connections down there. There's the cold, and there's the hot. This is actually a recirculating Navian. It's got a tank in it, and it heats a small amount of water for use when it first fires up. And it can also, it has a circulator in it. It'll keep the water in the pipes hot if you so choose to uh, plumb it in that manner. And that is all.